Welcome to Season 3. This is not a how-to channel. I'm still learning, so if you see something, say something in the comments below. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I've got a piece of 6x6x3 six six piece of spalted tamarind. I don't know much about this wood. I think I've turned something like with this before, tamarind, I'm not sure. But this wood is very light. It's got a lot of bugs in it, bug holes in it. It's got some nice little streaks in the light wood, dark streaks here. I think this will look good as a bowl for a lidded bowl. We're gonna use a piece of six by two paduke, nice little contrast. And for a finial, contrasting even further, is the leftover piece of olive wood uh, scrap I think would look good as a finial. Just in time for Valentine's Day, which was technically yesterday, but you get the idea. Let's get started and see how it turns out. That was really cool, uh, rounding this off and forgetting to turn that camera on right there. That camera captured it, but that one didn't. <sighs> All right, well, let's continue. <laughs> bit of tear out right there and right there. looks a lot nicer. Bravo, bravo. So I've never used tongue oil before. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's, I've had this thing laying around for a while. This isn't gonna be a food product, so food safe product. Not exactly what I had in my mind. Um, it, it's a lidded bowl, um, but what my vision of it was going to be didn't turn out quite right. There's a little bit of off coloring between the olive wood and the tamarind, a little too much off coloring. I thought it would be a little lighter. We had some issues with it. There's a bunch of holes in here. I don't think this is gonna hold water. Does the defense's case hold water? No, the defense is wrong. Yeah, no, it's not gonna hold water. Um, I know you can't really see it from where you are, so let's take a close look at it. All right, taking a really close look at this, we'll start with the bowl like we always do, starting off at the bottom. Got my logo in the bottom with the recessed mortise. It is riding on this very edge here, and my goodness, does this not look like Swiss cheese? I mean, holy cow. Ooh, I wonder if I can get a light. Hold on, stand by. 
Yeah, those are some serious bug hole worm holes. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's <clears throat> some obvious holes right through here. But that aside, this wood looks pretty nice overall. It's got three different types of finishes on here. I just couldn't get it to to the the kind of shine I could have used. My my, I was thinking about using the axe abrasive paste, but my concern was that all these holes, it was just going to get poked into the holes. The uh, the abrasive paste, and then trying to get it out of there was going to be difficult. So I wanted to use something more liquidy, if that makes sense, and uh, it just didn't really take, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of got a dull matte finish to it uh, with bits of shininess. It's, it's weird. It, when the light hits it just right, it's shiny, but then in other angles, it's, not, it's hard to describe. But that aside, the holes kind of make it really unique. Certainly um, very unique. <laughs> not going to hold things in here well preserved, I would say. The coloring of the tan and dark woods, though, uh, dark lines and stripes and whatnot look fantastic. Um, by itself, I think, is looking pretty nice. The contrasting wood, albeit not exactly what I had in mind, I guess, uh, still, this Paduke is gorgeous. I mean, this beautiful Paduke is always uh, a beautiful, shiny wood. I mean, you can get a really nice shine in there. Uh, and because uh, I thought candy dish of some sort or whatnot, maybe you want to put something on the top, so I kind of dished it out over here. The olive wood, I think, would have made a nice little, you know, addition. It's pretty darn close. I mean, really is. But not quite there. I don't know what it is. There's, maybe there's not enough holes in this. Maybe I should drill a couple holes in it to match the bottom. <laughs> but uh, that aside, I think this turned out all right. You know, overall though, I think this is a pretty cool little, I don't know, little candy dish bowl or some sort. It's it's certainly aerated. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I still like it in a, in a funny kind of way. I hope you liked this video. If you did, consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and that notification bell. Thank you very much for giving me a turn on your screen, and we'll see you next week. By itself, it's not bad. For the lid, we'll use this piece of 6x2 Paduke, and for a finial, the leftover piece of olive wood I think would look great. Just in time for a phone call coming in. Yeah! <laughs> Not a phone call, but an email. Oh, man. I can't tell if I like that as like a step, or if I should just get rid of it. Kind of looks cool, but uh, kind of is distracting from all the other stuff that's going on. There's too much other stuff going on. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, never mind. And it's like uh, it says not to use uh, like a sealer or anything, but I think we gotta use some type of sealer. You know what? I'm not happy with this at all. Oh my God! I didn't hit the power button, the record button, uh, again, holy crap, this is a very religious bowl, get it, it's holy, ha, <clears throat>